And then after that, I blacked out. I don't remember what happened. He was literally running in the hallway, screaming, fire, fire, fire. My mom is in the back, cousin in Tagalog, going crazy. Hi, my name is Christina, and my uncle David stole my Nintendo. I'm Jana, and the cops came to our Christmas party. I'm Donnie, and one Christmas, we set our friend on fire. So I went to an all-boys Catholic school, and when you combine 42 teenage Catholic boys together, you end up with chaos. In the Philippines, the classrooms were grouped as one classroom, so we don't switch classrooms. So for our Christmas project, each individual class was asked to decorate a room. Being very young teenage boys, our Christmas decor for our classroom will be Christmas in a polluted world. That was against the consumerism and the capitalistic nature of Christmas. In reality, what we just wanted was to trash our classroom. So every day after lunch, instead of throwing our trash in the trash can, we threw our trash in the classroom. So over a period of a month, the classroom became a mess. And to make it more realistic, we had lab rats, and we released the rats into the classroom so that it mimicked how a polluted world will be having rodents and everything. To really drive home the point of global warming, we poured rubbing alcohol on our friend, and we set him on fire. And he was literally running in the hallway, screaming, fire, fire, fire. And you can see the panic teachers and one of the priests were coming up with a piece of paper trying to fan him down. And for us, it was really just fun. We should have gotten expelled. At the very least, we should have gotten suspended. But you know what? We were charming. Now that we're adults, I can see the recklessness of our actions. Father Pineda, if you're watching this, on behalf of all my classmates, we are sorry that we set our friend on fire and we trashed our classroom. Merry Christmas! It was the night of Christmas Day. I think I was like five years old and my cousin was seven. The party had died down. We already opened up our gifts. My cousin and I were trying to figure out something to do. <laughs> we were bored and we were just like, let's prank call the cops. So we dialed 911, not thinking that they were going to answer because it's Christmas. They're going to be on break, right? They're going to be with their families. We dialed 911 and then we get an answer. Someone says, 911, what's your emergency? And we like completely freaked out because we didn't think that anyone was gonna answer. So we just hung up. Let me tell you, my five-year-old self had so much adrenaline from that. We were just like, okay, cool. We did that. Let's play video games now. I think about half an hour later, we get a knock at the door and my tita answers. In front of the door, are two cops, all like dressed in their police gear. And me and my cousin are peeking out. We were like, oh my God. The police is actually here. And my titas are like shook. But they tell the officer, oh no, it's fine. Like, I, I don't think anyone called. And then the officers were like, we did get a phone call from this residence that we were able to track down. And then me and my cousin just looked at each other like, they were able to track us down. We didn't know, because I was five, he was seven. Like, we, we didn't know anything. And then my titas are like looking around like, who would have called? And then they look at me and my cousin and then we're just like, yeah. And then as soon as they leave, all hell breaks loose. I distinctly remember trying to explain to my mom that it was like an accident. We didn't think the prank call would lead to anything, but all I could hear her saying was, shut up. And then after that, I blacked out. I don't remember what happened, but it was probably really bad because I blacked out. And that's when I learned not to prank call the cops ever again, especially on Christmas. In my family, my Filipino mother always celebrated Christmas, Christmas Eve. My African-American family, we always celebrate Christmas Day. Christmas Eve, we're doing our Filipina thing. My dad's brother, Uncle David, arrives. We never see him. He's always divorced or something like that, having baby mama drama. But since it's Christmas Eve, my mom and dad allowed it. They're like, hey, come on in, grab a plate. The next day happens, we have Christmas dinner at grandma's house, which is my dad's side of the family. Uncle David comes in with something that is wrapped in foil. We think he brought something for the potluck. He says, oh no, that's my secret Santa gift for my kids. His daughters hear that in the next room and they don't usually get anything from Uncle David. So they start to unwrap this foil in newspaper on the table to find out that it's a dusty gray Nintendo console. It's one controller and the duck hunt game is still in the console. I knew it was mine because my Barbie sticker was still on the controller. And then my dad's like, yo, I bought that. You jive turkey, you don't have no coof. And then my mom just starts cussing in Tagalog. Oy, puta, so this is how we basically find out 
that Uncle David stole my Nintendo and also is now smoking crack. That's my family. Happy Jesus' birthday. <laughs>